Hey everybody, welcome back to Brainiac Baseball's 1980 Detroit Tigers season replay. Today's matchup is between the Chicago White Sox and the Detroit Tigers at Tiger Stadium. On the mound for the Sox is Rich Wortham, whose record is 15-10 and 10 with a 4.16 ERA. And pitching for Detroit today, making his season debut is Bruce Robbins, who has no record or ERA. And so, uh, yesterday's game was one of the most exciting games of the year. Uh, White Sox came out with a 3-0 lead in the first inning, and then it just became a slugfest. And uh, we fought our way back, and every time we would tie the Sox, they would hit a home run to take the lead. As I mentioned, there was nine dingers, and it came down. Score was tied 9-9. It was actually 9-8 to eight going into the bottom of the ninth inning. And we rallied to score a run. And with two outs, Lance Parrish hit a walk-off home run to win the game. A game we desperately needed. As you take a look here, you'll see uh, we did gain a game back. We're seven games back with 20 to go. And uh, after today, it'll be 20 to go. And so that'll be a, a kind of a task to get above uh, the Yankees to catch up on them being seven games back. So we're not mathematically eliminated by any means, but we are in a tough spot. And having said that, we're throwing a rookie out there. Um, Bruce Robbins will be pitching for us today. We'll talk more about him in a minute. Uh, all of our bullpen is available. Um, I did put Keith Comstock on the uh, reserve list, and I brought up uh, Dave Rucker. And so... Here's our lineup. Uh, we do have Tigers who are listed as tired, which are Whitaker and Parrish. Um, but because Wortham is a lefty, I did put Tom Brookins in there instead of Richie Hebner, uh, he, who uh, really struggles versus lef lefties. Um, and otherwise, it's basically our, uh, the same lineup that you're familiar with. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, White Sox lineup. We're gonna, we'll do the rundown. And over here on, on the right side, you'll see the 1980 Tops card that represents that player. So leading off and playing right field today is Rusty Kuntz. Batting second and at first base is Mike Squires. Batting third and in center field is Chet Lemon. Batting third, I'm sorry, fourth cleanup is catcher Marv Foley. Batting fifth and DHing is Lamar Johnson. Betting sixth and in left field is Ron Pruitt. Betting seventh and at shortstop is Fran Mullins. Betting eighth and at second base is Jerry Hairston. And betting ninth and at third base is Kevin Bell. On the mound for the Tigers is Bruce Robbins. Uh, Bruce Robbins made his major league debut at age 19. Uh, if you were wondering uh, if he was the youngest player uh, in 1979, he wasn't. There were actually two players younger than him. Uh, Mike Morgan made his major league debut at age 18 in 1979. And also um, Brian Harper, the catcher for California, uh, was a few days younger than Bruce Robbins, uh, being a 19-year-old. And so Robbins had a pretty solid uh, first year. Uh, in 1980, in real life, um, he struggled with an ERA around nine. And that was his last year in the majors. Uh, by 1983, he was out of baseball. He pitched in, for the Tigers his entire career in the minors. And after his 1980 season uh, at the major league level, he just never could get it back. And uh, his ERAs were, were always high every year. So 14th round draft pick by the Tigers in 1977. So let's go ahead and get this game started. A different lineup today with Rusty Kuntz batting leadoff. Uh, and Robbins walks him. So not a good way to get started as um, looks like the Sox are putting in their uh, lineup versus lefty. So a lot of righties today. And Mike Squires, lefty on lefty, he gets a base hit to left field. And Robbins is in early trouble as Chet Lemon crushes lefties. Betting 351. He had his 20th home run yesterday. And he strikes out swinging. And so one down. Here's fellow 
Lefty Martin Foley betting only 120 minutes. Turn two here. Get out of this inning. Oh, man. That ball was so far inside. So base is loaded now for Lamar Johnson. I don't want to bring the infield in. It's a little too early for that. But, and Lamar Johnson's got a lot of power. And he hits a ground ball right back to Robbins. And the only play was at second base. He couldn't turn two, and a run does score on that. Okay, so two down. Here's Ron Pruitt. He had a dinger yesterday as well. And Pruitt hits the ground ball to Whitaker. And there's the third out. So the Sox get on the board as uh, Robbins was definitely wild. And it's one nothing here in the bottom of the first. Here's the Tigers lineup for today. Batting leadoff and playing second base is Lou Whitaker. Batting second and at shortstop is Alan Trammell. Batting third and DHing is Carlton Fisk. Batting cleanup and in left field is Steve Kemp. Batting fifth and catching Lance Parrish. Batting sixth and playing first base is Justin Thompson. Jason Thompson. Justin Thompson was a pitcher for Detroit. Batting seventh and playing center field is Tony Armis. Batting eighth and in right field is Gary Hancock. And batting ninth and playing third base today is Tommy Brookins. And uh, on the mound for the Sox is Rich Wortham. We've seen him once this year. Let's take a look at the game log. Um, I don't see that game. So uh, it's not listed on there. But uh, he's a lefty. And uh, here's his stats. He's making his 33rd start. That's a career high. 15 and 10 with a 4.16 ERA. He has a career high in innings pitched. Uh, he walks a lot of batters. Um, and opponents are batting 266 against him. So pretty solid starter. Three complete games and two shutouts. Here's Sweet Lou. Lefty on lefty action. Oh, and I think Whitaker is going to win that battle with his 13th home run of the year, 428 feet. A home run off a lefty. That is unexpected. Here's Alan Trammell. And Trammell follows that up with a walk. And that's great because... Carlton Fisk is probably our best hitter against lefties, spending 333 on the season. He had a big home run in yesterday's game. But hits a line drive to the opposite field, caught by the right fielder. That's uh, Rusty Koontz out there. And there's the first out. So here's Kemp, who always grounds into double play. So we're going to hit and run. Try to get things going with Trammell at first. And Kemp hits a ground ball to short. And Mullen makes a play to first. So, Trammell in scoring position for Lance Parrish, the hero of yesterday's game, player of the game. He hit that walk-off home run, and he hits a fly ball to left field that's caught for the third out. So, the Tigers come back and tie it up. It's all tied at one. Here's Fran Mullins. Four for eight on the season. He's part of the September call-up. This guy's on fire, though. Five for nine with a base hit down the right field line. Next up is Jerry Harrison, 16 home runs. He's had two home runs in this series. And he gets a base hit to center field. Armis gets it back in as uh, Mullis, Mullins gets uh, third base. And Robbins, once again, in trouble. This time we're going to pull the infield in. And that's against Kevin Bell making his uh, series debut, betting 372 versus lefties. So you can see why he's in there as he walks. Oh, my gosh. Three walks for Robbins. We're going to pull the infield in. And this might be a um, short outing as Koontz pops it up on the infield right over second base on the outfield grass. And it's caught by Whitaker for the first out. So we're going to stay uh, back on this one and try to turn two with uh, Mike Squires. 174 batting average. So let's see if we can keep it on the ground. And there's a ground ball right to Thompson. That should be two. No, oh, come on. Look at this great infield. And you're telling me we can't turn two. So they only get the runner at second base. It's first and third with two outs. And the difficult Chet Lemon, 0 for 2 with two strikeouts against Robbins. So he must have faced Robbins in his um, relief appearance. And he strikes him out. 
Wow. Robbins owns Chet Lemon. But they take the lead again, so it's two to one. Here's Thompson leading off the bottom of the second. And he walks. Two walks for Wortham. So here's Tony Armis, who um, has just been terrible. He uh, is batting 188 as a Tiger. He's played in every game. Uh, the good news is we have Omar Marino coming back in six games. So he'll automatically get the center field spot as he grounds into... Uh, I thought it was going to be a double play, but it's a ground ball to second base. And uh, they only get the lead runner. So next up is uh, Gary Hancock, betting in the ninth, uh, the ace spot because uh, he doesn't hit lefties so well. But he did have a home run uh, against a lefty his last time facing a lefty. And here he strikes out. Two down for Tommy Brookins. Solid hitter versus lefties. And he hits a line drive to left field. And we go to the third. So Bruce Robbins will face Marv Foley. He's at 47 pitches. Foley hits a ground ball to Trammell. There's one down. Next up is the DH. Here's Lamar Johnson. He strikes him out. That's a third K for Robbins. As Ron Pruitt steps in. Oh, and he walks Pruitt. 59 pitches now for Robbins, and um, he does have a pretty high endurance. So I guess we could push him if we need to, as Mullins hits a ground ball to short, and there's the third out. So finally, the Sox are kept off the board. We go to the bottom of the third, Sweet Lou. Top of the lineup once again, he hits a ground ball to third. One down. Next up is Tram. He walked in his first at-bat. And he hits a ground ball to short. Two down. And finally, here's Carlton Fisk, who walks. Three walks for Wortham. And uh, now we can just let Kemp swing away with two down. I'm not worried about him uh, hitting to a double play. And he walks. Four walks for Wortham. He's up to 55 pitches. And his endurance is lower than Robin's. Oh, man, P Parrish had a pitch right down the middle. But he missed it, popped it up to short, and we go to the top of the fourth. Don't forget, in the middle of the fifth inning, we're having our second robot race with uh, the names of people who are in uh, the Facebook page for Baseball Mobile. And so Jerry Harrison leads off the fourth. He hits a ground ball the second. There's one down. Next up is Kevin Bell. Bell grounds it to Trammell. That's the second out. Back to the top of the lineup with Mr. Rusty Coots. And, oh, he drills it to center field. That is his 16th home run. He also had a home run in yesterday's game. And it's 3-1 to one with two down Mike Squires, who's two for three against Robbins. Make it three for four now. That's the fifth hit given up by Bruce. And uh, I'm, I'm definitely worried about Chet Lemon. It struck him out all three times he's faced him. He throws a wild pitch to get Squires into scoring position. And uh, I should walk Lemon. But at this point, we're down 3-1. to one. Let's just see if we can strike him out. Nope, ground ball to second. First time Lemon's made contact. And that's the third out. So the home run by Koontz makes it 3-1. to one. Bottom of the fourth, JT leading off. Base hit to right field. Thompson hitting lefties. And here's Tony Armis. I mean, you can't bunt. You can't hit and run. And he strikes out a lot. He's got no eye for um, walking. So this is a double play made in heaven. Oh, no. Wortham hits his, uh, throws his own wild pitch. So now we're going to hit to the right side and try to push Thompson to third. There we go. Good job by Armis. That should get Thompson to third base. It does. And a sack fly will drive that run in. Thompson is slow, though, so he's going to have to hit it pretty deep. Oh, no. 0-2. Oh, oh, there we go. Line drive to left, 330 feet. And Thompson tags up and scores. I thought it was going to ask me to um, make a choice, but we'll take that RBI.
Three to two. And Brookins hits a fly ball to right field. That should be the third out. It is. We go to the top of the fifth. Marfoli leading off against Robbins. I would not have thought Robbins would have got this far, the way he's been pitching. As Foley hits a fly ball to right, and Hancock has it for the first out. One down for Lamar. Lammer. Lammer hits a ground ball to second. That's two down. That'll leave it up to Ron and Pruitt. Pruitt strikes out swinging. Good job by Robbins, giving us five solid innings. We're kept in the game here. And uh, let's go ahead and get to that robot race, and then we'll be back in a minute. Enjoy. Okay, here we are for the second race of the year. Uh, this robot race will contain yesterday's winner, Kent from Kent's Cards. And the rest of the contestants are uh, members of the Baseball Mogul uh, Facebook page. And so our contestants today are Tony A., Duglod B, Jeremiah M, Alan B, and Clay Dreslow, who is the creator of Baseball Mogul. We added him to uh, today's race. And uh, so this is going to be um, a lot of fun. I, I, I hope everyone's enjoying this. We're going to go ahead and um, uh, shuffle the characters. And so this is the current lineup. And uh, let's get ready to get this game going. Here we go, here's the race. Kent is quickly out in front. Could he be a two-time back-to-back winner? Alan B closing in, oh, nope. He's moonwalking back into position. Jeremiah M, he's consistent there in second place. And uh, I have a feeling someone's gonna come from behind. That's sort of how it works. Oh, here comes everyone, whoa, <laughs> oh no. Kent is going to be lost to uh, Duglod. Oh, man, that's great. Congratulations to Duglod from uh, the Baseball Mogul uh, uh, Facebook page, I should say. And so feel free to take a moment and uh, check out uh, the uh, Facebook Mo uh, reference page. Okay, welcome back, everybody. We got Sweet Lou leading off here in the bottom of the fifth inning. One for two with that home run to lead off the game. And he smacks the base hit to opposite field. So a single for Sweet Lou. And that means hit and run time. There we go. Ground ball to third. Only plays to first. So Whitaker in scoring position. Here's Fisk. 0 for 1 with a walk today. There we go. Hits it to the opposite field. It is caught by the right fielder. Whit Whitaker uh, tags up. And uh, standing on third base now. With Steve Kemp, a chance to tie the game here. Oh, he does with a base hit to right field. Whitaker crosses the plate, and it is three all. All right, so we are showing some fight, at least in this series, as Kemp is on first for... Lance Parrish, big wheel, hits a line drive straight away. 366 feet, caught by the center fielder, Chet Lemon. And we go to the six. Let's go ahead and switch it over to the in-game stats. Fran Mullins leading off. We're going to give uh, Robbins a chance to uh, earn the win. He deserves an opportunity. Oh, no, base hit for Mullins. That's two hits for him. This could be uh, Robin's last batter then with Jerry Harrison. We're going to guard the lines. And Harrison hits it right back to Robbins. And they do get the lead runner at second base. So one out. Runner on first. Here's Kevin Bell. We're just kind of playing it by ear now. Bell hits a ground ball sharply to Thompson. And they can only get the runner at second. How can we not turn two? I, what is the deal? Uh, so this will pr this is absolutely going to be the last um, hitter for... Oh, shoot. Well, I said that, and now it's a lefty on lefty. I was assuming he was going to put the ball in play. 
So it's five walks for Robbins. He's over 100 pitches in his first start of the season. And this could be costly. Nope. Squires grounds it to third. Brooklyn steps on the bag. And a great job by Robbins, really. I did not anticipate him going six. So that'll be it for him. Let's see if we can get him the win as Thompson strikes out. Only the second strikeout for Wortham. One down for Tony Armis. And Armis hits a ground ball to first. Wortham is tired now as Armis is the second out. It's 0 for 3 today. With two down, here is Gary Hancock. And Hancock hits a ground ball to second. So Robbins pitched as well as he could. We're going to take him out. And here in the seventh, we are going to go with Roger Weaver. He is our short relief man who pitches the seventh inning for right-handers. And uh, he's been uh, pretty bad of late. He started off so good. He was under, his ERA was under three for a very long time. He's in 64th game, 5-1, 3.73 ERA. Opponents only betting 240, but a lot more walks than uh, strikeouts. He does have a save on the year, and uh, he took the loss two games ago um, by giving up a, a run in the uh, ninth. And uh, he, the previous game, he pitched 3.1 innings, so um, a scoreless ball. So maybe he's turned it around. Chet Lemon first to face him. He gets Lemon to hit a ground ball to Thompson. There's one down. And then we'll bring up Foley, who bats 314 versus righties. And Foley hits a ground ball to Whitaker. That's two outs. And next up is Lammer. 330 versus righties. Ouch. Oh, no. Is that going to be foul? We'll go foul. Oh, there we go. So a long out by Lamar Johnson. A great job by Weaver. We go to the bottom of the seventh. They're going to bring in Dewey, who is their setup man. Uh, he gave up two runs in yesterday's game. So let's see if we can, can't crush him. There's his information. He does have 11 saves on the year. He was the closer early on. So they've got righties. So we're taking out uh, Brookins. And we're going to bring in our lefties, which is uh, Richie Hebner. So Hebner will face Dewey. And Hebner hits a ground ball to third. Hebner had a big three-run home run yesterday, too. That uh, tied the game up and... Uh, was a big time clutch shot. Well, Whitaker hits a line drive right at Mullins at short. That's two down. Here's Trammell. Trammell hits it the other way into right center field. And it's caught for the third out. One, two, three inning. We go to the eighth. Whitaker Weaver did his job. So now we're going to go to Tobik who was our setup man for right-handers. And he's just been puke. 73 games, though, so he's well overused, no doubt about it. 369 ERA, more walks than strikeouts, opponent betting 272. And, uh, yeah, he gave up two runs in yesterday's game. But we're going to show some confidence as uh, Pruitt probably hit that home run against Tobik yesterday. And... This time around, Pruitt hits a ground ball to second. And that's the first out. Next up is Fran Mullins, who strikes out swinging. Good job by Tobik. Jerry Harrison turns around, bats lefty this time against Tobik. Only 250 hitter versus right-handers, and he hits a fly ball to center field. Armis has it for the third out. We go to the bottom of the eighth. We're going to let Fisk swing away. We could bring in Champ Summers, who does have a pinch hit home run this year, and Carlton Fist strikes out. That's what he does versus righties. He's just horrible. But uh, not Steve Kemp. Kemp, oh, he hits a ground ball to first. That's two down. So Parrish is over three today. We need a big shot from him again today. Uh, he's going to pop it up on the infield to second base. And that's two strong innings for Dewey. And now we go to the ninth. And the ninth inning is for Senior Smoke. 
who uh, gave up a run yesterday but did get the win as uh, Kevin Bell steps in. Oh, come on. Bell gets a base hit to right. And uh, we got to guard the lines now. And uh, I don't think Bell will steal with an 80 speed on Parrish, but that might be an option. Oh, come on. Base hit for Kuntz. And that's going to be it for Lopez. He's going to probably get the loss here, too. We're going to bring in our best lefty as uh, Capizello will face Squires batting 179. We've got to pull the infield in. Let's see how it plays out. Kuntz steals second base. So that means the game is probably going to intent make a Squires walk. No? Instead, Squires hit, get, hits the ground ball to short, and they do go home to prevent the run. And we're going to intentionally walk Lemon to get to Foley with the bases loaded. And really, the season on the line. We're going to play everybody back, hope for a double play. Moment of truth, and it's a base hit to right field. Two run score. It's five to three. Sox. We still have some fight in us, but this doesn't feel like it did yesterday. As we're bringing in Andy Replogle, who was dynamite um, in his last appearance, pitched four innings of relief, and he put, gets Johnson to pop up to second. He's two down. I'll leave it up to Pruitt. And Pruitt gets a base hit to left. So six to three. Fran Mullins pops it up. Terrible job by our closer who's just been undependable um, these last few games. Uh, but we have Jason Thompson um, games thinking for some reason. Is it going to switch out Dewey? He's thinking about it, I guess. Yeah, they do. They're going to bring in Ed Farmer. It's a three-run lead. That is strange. Ed Farmer is a uh, former Detroit Tiger pitcher and uh, probably most famous for uh, getting in that fight with Enos Cabell when Enos was on the Tigers and Farmer was on the Sox. You can pull up that game um, on uh, YouTube and see that fight. It was brutal. As Thompson walks, so we're... We're going to take Thompson out for someone speedy. We need three runs, but Thompson is a double play candidate. We're going to bring in Gibby. And uh, Armis, who just totally sucks, but I mean, what are we going to do? We got to, what are we going to put in Bob Baylor? Armis hits a fly ball to left center field. There's one down. Bringing up Gary Hancock, finally going to face a righty. Oh, and Ed Farmer box. Big deal. Hancock pops it up. Caught by first baseman, Mike Squires, and it's down to Richie Hebner. Gibson on second base. Yeah. Yeah, that's a bummer, man. We blew it in the ninth. How many games have we had in a row that have gone to the ninth inning? Tigers lose 6-3, to three, and we are back to eight games back. So... Man, I hate to be just so bummed by this, but um, I, I hope we, at least our last games are at least entertaining. Uh, we're not eliminated yet, obviously. Um, but there are four teams that are eliminated. Uh, Milwaukee, Cleveland, Seattle, Oakland. And um, so those are uh, teams that are gone. And we look at the transactions, nothing of note. Let's pull up the box score and get out of here. We're one in five in September. Uh, that's a ba as bad as it can be. Um, super disappointed by our team after the big win yesterday. Uh, but I did put the rookie out there, and I thought he pitched pretty well. Lopez takes his sixth loss. He's four and six. Uh, Dewey Robinson gets the win, four and seven. Ed Farmer gets a save, his third on the year. Whitaker hits his 13th home run, and... Uh, Beyond that, the Sox, uh, they had 10 hits. Tigers only had four. I just did not realize that till now. But that was about our best lineup, and we still couldn't get the job done. 
So we'll be back tomorrow. Oh, player of the game, uh, I guess it's Whitaker with the leadoff home run. So we're going to give it to Whitaker. And, um, and that's it here from uh, Tiger Stadium. We'll be back tomorrow with game number three of the series. Have a good night.